Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect. So let's start. So in the layers, I'm gonna remove this layer, and I'm gonna do it later, and I'm gonna remove the effects, and we'll end up with just the text from the text tool. So if I double click on it, you can see it's Anja Elian accent with 356 size, so it's just a random size. Okay, so let's start. So first I need to go to the downloads, and I have this picture, I got it from Shutterstock, right click, and then open with and Photoshop and you'll have this pattern here so you can go to edit define pattern and let's name it uh, pattern 5 okay so I'm gonna put this picture in the link in the description below you can download it anytime it's a link so when we save it let's go back to here and go to layers and then turn on the effects and go inside the effects and then let's turn off everything and go one by one. So first I added a bevel and emboss. So you can see a slight bevel here. I put it on inner bevel, smooth, depth 120 and size 49 and 30, 30, angle and altitude. Check on global light and anti-aliased and put it on soft light here, multiply and 75% both with white and BF, BF, BF color. Okay, so that's the effect. So let, then I turn on the contour. The contour doesn't have much effect, but maybe it will appear when I put the pattern. So just put 100 here and check on anti-aliased and put this contour. And then put the texture. So you can see here, I added the texture here. I already done it before. You can put the new one, it's the same thing. So just click on it and put the scale on 37, depth minus 150, and you're done here. Then put on inner shadow. An inner shadow gives us a slight shadow here, you can see. So I put it on black, multiply, 75% opacity, distance 63, size 43, and the angle is 30 as well. And then I added a pattern overlay. So here you can check, you also put the pattern that we did before and put it on 100 and the scale you put it at 37%, the same scale I put it on the texture, 37. So when you're done with this, you can just you can move it around until you get the best position you have but i would suggest you just snap to origin and put it on scale 37 percent okay and then put drop shadow you can see the shadow here okay and i put it on multiply i put this color which is like a kind of dark yellow you can change it if you want and put it 100 the size i put it just slight shadow you can see you can increase the shadow but i think just a slight shadow would be okay and then I think that's it. So press OK and we're done with the first part. And after we're done with this, go to File and create a new document. And in this document, get the pen tool and draw a curve. And first go to the layers and double click on the background, OK. And add a new layer and delete the background, which is layer 0. And then go to brushes from here. Or you can go to window and brushes from here. And click on the hard round and make sure it's 10 pixels and brush settings make sure in the shape dynamics you in the control you put it on pen pressure okay and make sure you have a black color here and get the pen and right click and then stroke path and make sure you click on simulate pressure and okay and you will have this okay so in the layers you can actually duplicate it Control j and the duplicate you can click on it and just move it and edit transform flip horizontal and just put it here and then add a new layer and get the pen tool and draw one like this right click same thing stroke path simulate pressure okay and then delete the path and then you can click on layer one copy move it slightly to the left and layer one slightly to the right and now edit and let's create this as a brush so edit Define brush preset and let's name it grass or grass 8 or 5. Okay, so now let's go back. And when we're back here, go to window and put on brushes and let's select grass 5, which we did before. Let's put the size on 130. And I think that's it. So go to brush settings and click on shape dynamics and increase the angle jitter to 100 and size jitter to 100 
and I think this is okay and click on color dynamics and put the brightness on 30% and put this one here on 100 foreground background jitter and the others put them on zero. Oh, this one leave it on zero okay and then I think we're done here we have the size correct the spacing make sure it's one okay and here in the foreground color make sure it's white and in the background color make sure it's a6 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 okay it's like a gray color and now let's go to the layers and hold control and press here on the box of PS and we'll get the selection and create a new layer and get the marquee tool right click and make work path and put one pixel and then get the pen tool right click and stroke path and remove simulate pressure and press OK and you'll have this pattern so press delete and you can place it underneath paths and you'll have this nice effect you can even make it bigger like let's go back and in the brushes just make it bigger windows brushes go to grass 5 and instead of 130 you can actually put it on maybe 183 and then in brush settings let's go and put the same things put the size jitter angle jitter color dynamics 30 is okay and in the spacing put it one and I think that's good and then let's go to layers hold control press on the box get the selection and create a new layer and mark a tool right click make work path one and the pen tool right click stroke path and okay and it will be slightly bigger and delete this and you will have this nice effect and one more thing we can do here is we can go to layers and in layer one we can right click on it blending options and add a drop shadow you can see a little bit of shadow here so I put it on 60 8 21 size maybe we can decrease the size a little bit so it can look more realistic yeah, I think that's good okay and in the PS let's go to the drop shadow maybe increase the drop shadow here you can see the shadow here maybe if we put it at this much yes this is fine and we're done here